It is another sign summer is wrapping up. Today is the final day of this year's Indiana State Fair. And as Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon found, there are a lot of things that fair leaders want to give you. This year's Indiana State Fair, you could say, is soaring to new heights. An estimated 900,000 people will have taken in a day here at the fair, making it one of the top five in history. It's the last day of the fair. And all of these vendors. Can I help you? All of these exhibits. See, it's very soft. And all of the animals <laughs> must go. For many, this ending marks another beginning. Farmers Pike and Newcastle next, and then the Tipton Port Festival. Beth Wagner and her family from Zionsville are in the midst of their busy season. We start in April, go through the middle of October, so we travel a lot every weekend. It's a lifestyle that comes with some bonding. We've been doing this as a family since 1983. And speaking of family, I don't want that. This is the inaugural state fair for the Waltons. So very first time. Yeah, very first time for all of us. The family of four came for a day of adventure. To experience all the rides and the, you know, just seeing people, seeing the animals, and experiencing new things. New this year is the Coliseum renovation and the Beer and Wine Expo. We have had very full building most of the time throughout the 17 days, especially toward the afternoon and evening hours. Leaders are already looking toward improving the experience next year, as well as updating the State Fair app. With 900,000 people packing the massive fairgrounds, things are bound to get lost. We collect things throughout the fair. And this is the collection to date. There's the hearing aid. A couple of those have been found this year, along with jackets, purses, and children's shoes. Even house keys have been turned in, waiting for the owners to come forward. We had a set of tickets to the Keith Urban concert. Those are pretty much useless now. That show was August 2nd. You find some pretty unique items at the end of the fair in the lost and found. John Collier's lunchbox is still here, along with dozens of other people's IDs, credit cards, and wallets waiting for their owners to come forward and perhaps enjoy one last evening at the fair. The good news is you still have a little bit longer before all the rides and everything goes away for another year. Last admission is at 9 p.m. I'm Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. What a great view. Looks like Matt had some fun as well. We do want to let you know the lost and found items can be claimed weekdays at the fair administration offices, and you do have to adequately describe your item before you can claim it.